The Sunrise Movement posted a video of a young climate activist talking with Joe Biden about his concerns over Biden's position on climate change, and it did not go well for the former Vice President. I'm Aaron, and what I'm wondering is how can young folks trust that you're going to fight for us on climate change when your climate advisor, your hand-picked climate advisor, served on the board of a fossil fuel company? That is not the person who's doing my advisor. And Heather by the way, Zikoff? yeah, Heather worked for us in the administration. Yeah, no, I know. But she also look at my worked. record. Yeah, look at my record. Just look at the record. I have President Biden, uh, Vice President Biden. Well, I tell you what, if you look at my record and you still doubt about my commitment, then you should vote for somebody else. I've looked at your climate plan. Why doesn't it ban fracking? Well, why doesn't it ban fracking? Because you can't ban fracking right now. You got to transition away from it. Look, you're going to ban fracking all across America right now, right? I would love to. Yeah, I'd love to too. I'd love to make sure we don't can use any oil or gas, period, now. Now. Is it possible? Yes. Well, you ought to vote for somebody else. Okay, and he said yes to that question, despite the fact that he could have been choked at any second. <laughs> <laughs> the body language is amazing. Look, I, I, I'm. Biden is old school, do whatever you want with how he touches people, right? And so that's a guy, by the way, you know, say he gets a lot of critique for touching women that way, but he also touches guys that way, it doesn't make it any better, by the way. But look, he's this activist who's trying to get in his face is leading away from him. <laughs> he's like, okay, all right, dude, stop. But it. Really like, fast. I just last weekend just got married, and when I talk with my now wife, we don't talk that intimately <laughs> with the hands on the shoulders. Okay, but look, that's a tiny, yes, tiny part of the story. Back yes. to the substance. Yeah. So that's why I love the Sunrise Movement does this. That's exactly what you should do if you're a citizen, whether you're part of any activist group or not. Go ask the, the candidates questions, whether they're presidential candidates or any other candidates. You know why? Because it's your government. They're supposed to be your representatives. They're not the boss of you, you're the boss of them. And so, look, I'll give Biden credit on this. He keeps telling people not to vote for him, right? Mm -hmm, and right. he says, look, this is my position. <laughs> and and but, but in seriousness, like he says, that was almost Biden esque. No, guys, it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Okay, I'm being I'm not, serious. No, I'm not no kidding. I'm not, I'm kidding. not kidding. kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, but seriously, he says, look, if you want to end fracking right now, I'm not your guy. It's true, he's not your guy. He's like, I'll, you know, I want to do it at some indetermined time, but certainly not in my presence. <laughs> I mean, right. he didn't say that. To be fair, you saw the tape, but that is his attitude. I mean, he told the, 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 his wealthy donors nothing well, will fundamentally I mean, change. But what he said was, I can't, we can't do it, right? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to, but it turns out we can't. I, I, I checked with somebody, and, and we actually can't do it. I checked with the, the person who's the head of a liquefied natural gas company, who's, who's his Certain advisor. advisor yeah. uh, the truth is you you can do it. We have the technological capability. We actually at the prospect just ran this entire issue called uh, the Green New Deal, uh, which is a practical application. We, we did 22 stories on how you can actually accomplish a Green New Deal, that it's possible with today's technology, with uh, the, today's financing, all we need is the political will. Yeah. And uh, so what he was saying was, oh no, you need a transition, you need a bridge fuel. No, you don't. We have the ability right now to build out a zero carbon economy. Yeah. And he's just wrong about that. So I wanna uh, tell you guys, it's, uh, if you wanna read that, it's prospect.org slash Green New Deal. Right. We'll have the link down below if you're watching this later on YouTube or Facebook, so you can just click on it. Uh, and. And if only Biden was running for a position that had a lot of power, mm -hmm. <laughs> then maybe he could do something about it, but right. he's only running for president yeah. of the United States. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that whole thing about using natural gas as a bridge fuel for 10 years or 20 or 50 years in some of these plans, that is actually a very good idea if you have a controlling stake in a natural gas company and you wanna make money for the rest of your natural life. Like, it's good for that. Like Biden's major advisor. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and but I wanna be clear, she's made over a million dollars according to the reporting uh, by being on the board of that company. Yeah. Then Biden does hire her to be the top climate advisor. And so when he said in the beginning, no, she's not, that's not the person advising me, he was wrong. Mm -hmm. It is the person that's advising him, and he seemed to verify that later. You saw the exchange for yourself, but he said, "Oh yeah, she worked for us in the administration." That's true. That's also bad. And right? That's not good either. To a natural gas company, yeah. which is worse. She went through the revolving door. She was in a position of power and then went to industry. Yeah, and if it, you're choosing an informal advisor specifically on climate change, like I don't know, I'd go for like 
a scientist maybe? Do you know how many people I'd have to go through to get to anyone who had even been affiliated with a natural gas company? Yeah, no, I mean, we just literally LOL'd at that. I mean, in a democracy, if you didn't have the corrupting influence of money, your top advisor on climate change would obviously be a scientist. Yeah. And in this political landscape, that's so funny that two progressives laughed out loud. <laughs> yeah. Like that a politician would have a scientist as an advisor. Yeah. So here's the issue with the whole natural gas thing. First, one bit more of information about Biden from the Sunrise Movement. And then here's why him being wrong on that issue specifically is so bad. So overall, in case you missed it, earlier this week, Sunrise Movement released their scores on climate change for the top three candidates, giving Bernie an A minus, Warren a B minus, and Biden a never before seen F minus, and recommending <laughs> parent teacher conference time. You, you, can you go haven't seen my report card from middle school. <laughs> That's true. Ben Mangwitz has a story <laughs> of how one of his uncles, who then wound up becoming a legendary director, got an F minus once. <laughs> and he went to ask the professor, like, Jesus Christ, what happened? He's like, well, I couldn't give you a G. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, look, they're gonna be scoring other candidates. We'll see if they pass out any Gs or anything like that. No. Um, and you can get more information on the website. They break it down in incredible detail about how they came to these scores. And they said, by the way, all of the candidates can improve. And they're not endorsing anyone yet, so just bear that in mind. But here's the issue specifically on natural gas. New data shows that natural gas, which is less polluting than coal, but still a fossil fuel, has become the biggest driver of emissions growth globally in recent years. Now, global emissions from coal, the worst polluting of the fossil fuels, unexpectedly declined by about 0.9% in 2019, although that drop was more than offset by strong growth in the use of oil and natural gas around the world. And if you break it down over the course of 2000 to 2018 for the different sorts of fossil fuels, you can see that coal did keep going up and then it sort of moderated itself over the past couple of years. But natural gas and oil have been steadily going up too with no sign that they're gonna turn around. And I guarantee they're not going to with Joe Biden as president. Well, I mean, just to be clear, what that's showing is that activists have done a really good job of closing coal plants. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that coal got cleaner somehow, mm -hmm. it's that it's that we have retired a ton of coal plants around the world. Yeah, uh, And that's what moderated that it's, it's action that has moderated that, but a lot of that has been moved into the natural gas area. And so you almost see a, a, a symbiotic relationship as coal goes down, natural gas goes up. Yeah, yeah and, and to be, uh, to add to that, it's when we say we shut it down, it, it got shut down because it became unaffordable and couldn't keep right. up with market conditions. Particularly around natural gas, which is much cheaper. Than yes, than and natural gas, and now finally and now renewable, renewable energy and as well. Renewable. And so if you don't know, there's a lot more jobs in America uh, that in the renewable energy industry than there is in the coal industry. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of mythology about that, but the reality is there are more jobs and higher paying jobs in renewable energy. Yeah. yeah. And just I just found this interesting. I think it's important that you know. Can we jump ahead to the next chart? It's gonna show CO2 per person across the US, China, the European Union, India, and the rest of the world. And you will notice that, hey, turns out we are number one in certain areas, not necessarily the ones we should be. And so there is still an incredible amount of work that needs to be done, which means that we need someone who is not only right in the rhetoric and not only right in the policies, but that prioritizes it and will pursue these solutions with the passion necessary to push them through a Congress and lobbyists and all of that that are gonna be fighting to the death to stop it. You can't afford to have a person who's like, yeah, I technically sign on to the plan and that's it. Is that the person that's going to push it through? I don't think so. One of the stories we have in our, our series uh, talks about every country in the world uh, that has signed on to the Paris Climate Agreement. And out of all those countries, there are only two that actually have implemented policies that would limit temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius, which is what the climate, uh, the Paris Climate Agreement says, Morocco and the Gambia. Hmm. So uh, uh, not exactly the heavy hitters on CO2. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so that's where we're at and we do need leadership all around the world. Yeah. So Joe Biden in, in essence is telling you two things. One is that he, he just doesn't get it. He, he genuinely thinks, well, I put us back in the Paris Climate Accords, doesn't that do it? No, Joe, it doesn't do it, we're way, way behind. And he's so out of touch that he genuinely doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The second thing he's telling you is, there's just no way we could catch Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> and so if you want a president who says we can't possibly beat Morocco, Biden's your guy. Yeah. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.